Welcome to The Developer Show. I am Matt Sullivan, and I am here at DartConf with Emily Fortuna, who works on the Dart team. Hello. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do on Dart? Yeah, so I'm a software engineer on the Dart to JS team. So I work on compiling Dart to JavaScript. And that is an interesting and fun and challenging problem because Dart has different semantics from JavaScript, as you may be well aware. And uh, there's lots of challenges in terms of making our the resulting JavaScript code performance, um, making it small enough so that download sizes don't take too long, and making the actual compilation process not take too long. So Dart 2 is on the horizon. How does it affect what you're working on? Yeah, so we've been working for the past year pretty hard on keeping the outside of Dart to JS working for all of our existing customers with the old version of Dart. Um, but on the inside, working really hard to do lots of engineering to get ready for Dart 2.0. And this involves strong mode. And this will be super exciting because that means that we can do a lot more um, compiler optimizations because we can trust those types and we can do better type inference. Um, and so we can get a lot better at determining what code is used, what code isn't, do better inlining. It's going to be great. So you're here at DartConf to talk about Flutter with a fabulous co-host. Uh, what excites you about Flutter and why are you here to talk about it? Yeah, so I am super excited about Flutter because it's an amazing tool that's built with Dart that allows people to develop mobile applications and run them on iOS and Android with one code base, not having to write the same logic twice. Uh, and Dart is a really powerful and concise uh, programming language to do that. And Flutter is really taking off. Since we initially debuted it at IO last year, we have a lot of new improvements. There's things like support for animated GIFs or GIFs, depending on who you're talking to. Um, and we've got a lot of new plugin support. There's things su support for different um, location APIs with the cell phones. And I'm super excited because there are we're getting a lot of third party contributions from people on GitHub. And this means that people are starting to take a look at Flutter and using it and contributing back. So I've been working on reviewing those pull requests. Thank you, Emily, for your time. Uh, this has been the Developer Show from Los Angeles at DartConf.